Good morning, Lenny Besterman, Beer Can Island today. They just finished the beach renourishment uh, last week, and it's been a very long project, and we're going to check it out. This has been very controversial because it was a very private beach with all kinds of different dead trees and places to lay out and hide, and it was very, uh, very interesting, and the characteristics of this particular beach was awesome. They doubled the size, maybe tripled it. I have not been out there since the beach renourishment's been done, but we're going to go take a look at it and check it out. So I'm also gonna get some drone footage today. We'll see what happens. Lenny Besterman's Sarasota Experience. Uh, like and subscribe and let's go check out Beer Can Island. I've covered this in a past video, but when you get to Beer Can Island, this is in this uh, Longboat Key, Florida. There's another one in Tampa. So do not confuse the two, but there's not very many parking spots available. You do need to get here early. If I had to guess, there's only 20 to 30 spots. This is the end of September, which happens to be one of the slowest times of year in the Sarasota Bradenton area. So uh, starting next month, you're gonna have to get here at eight, nine o'clock in the morning to get a spot. There's not very many of them available. All right, so I did a video uh, maybe six months ago, and this is exactly where we started. We're on Beer Can Island on North Longbow Key, Florida, an extremely popular area to go. It was a very unique beach. It was not really big. Um, it had two fishing piers. That one was right here, which you'll see is not there anymore, or at least it's not visible. And there's another one there where you can see people are standing on it. Uh, the very tail end is what's left of that pier. They are both under the sand. There is a very controversial, because a lot of locals and any, anybody that's familiar with this area uh, loved coming here because there was a ton of driftwood. It was a very beautiful area to go. But for some reason, the city or township or whoever makes those decisions decided that they needed to do a beach renourishment and uh, they removed almost all of the driftwood which was always located right down in that area right at the end of the beach now just so you're not confused there is a beer can island in tampa bay florida that you can only get to by boat and it's a very popular area also so when i do videos i always get comments down below um, you know, this is not Beer Can Island. This is the Sarasota Bradenton Beer Can Island on longboats. And yes, there is one on Tampa Bay, totally different animals, two different places. And uh, this one was very unique. There was years of dead trees that fell over that people would hang their hammocks on, walk around, get stay in the shade. The photography over here was extremely beautiful. Uh, one of my biggest criticisms, and I'm going to be very, uh, I just said this on a Facebook Live. I want to be very clear about this. The decision makers more than likely for years have studied this and figured out what would be the best scenario to keep the sand in place and to preserve the look of Longbow Key long term. So their engineers probably said we need to do a beach renourishment and put it out to the area where they did. I did follow this quite a bit and they did a heck of a job. They got some geo grid underneath the sand. Uh, the right thing to do from what I understand is bury the jetties, which they did. Uh, the jetties are the rock, the golden rock. You can see after the concrete pier, you can see the jetty right in that area coming out of the sand. Um, they bury them that what it does is it helps the sand from being washed out during storms. What I was hoping for and what I was extremely surprised about that they did not do is preserve the driftwood. I heard that they were going to be removing some of it, but that area right over here, hopefully I have some old footage that I can plug into this video, was loaded with driftwood. If you put hashtag on Instagram on Beer Can Island, you'll see all kinds of pictures of what it used to look like. Which by the way, speaking of Instagram, Make sure you like and follow over on Instagram. We are, I'm over there as Sarasota Experience. So if you have that opportunity, when you're checking out that hashtag, check it out. 
Also, what a great time for, to ask, for me to ask you to subscribe. So if you have a chance, make sure you subscribe to Sarasota Experience. I go around. Uh, we're going to start a restaurant campaign and all kinds of different things about Sarasota pretty soon. But I do a lot of beach work, so that'll more than likely change. But you can see this is the very end of the pier where it used to go back at least 75 feet all the way up. And the water used to come around the pier and you could fish off of it. And it was really, really very neat. Both concrete piers here on longboats. The other one is just south right here. Is, uh, are both covered now. Bradenton Beach still has three piers where you can walk out and you can jump into like 20 to 30 foot deep water on some of the piers. But uh, this look right here, you used to be able to come out to the very edge of the pier with water all around you for 30 or 40 yards. No, more than that. And uh, it would come, the water would be all around you. Can you see that school of fish? Of bait fish right out there. I'm not sure if you can. I can with my polarized glasses. But where we used to be standing is in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. And you could see the size difference. Totally unbelievable. But here's another criticism I have. Like I said, Longboat more than likely has done a lot of research on why they needed to do this. But there are very, we have now like six football fields wide of sand, which is beautiful. Not against that. I'm not a big fan of it here. And this is why. You have some residential houses. You have about 17 parking spots on the main road. Then south, there is a parking lot that holds probably 30 to 40 cars. I'm very rarely down there. But there is parking there where you can walk all the way up. But unless you are staying in a house or living here, the next closest place to park, because Longboat just cracked down on their parking where their restaurants are, you can't even pull over there anymore before the police show up because they call the police all the time. It's permit parking only. So when you come out here, do not just park wherever you want. It's a very big problem. But all the way over there is Coquina Beach. And if you wanted to walk over here, you park at Coquina Beach. The view is phenomenal. You'd have to walk across the bridge and come all the way down to the first street and make a right. But I'm telling you right now, it's probably on foot two or three mile walk. If you can handle that, it's almost, I would recommend it because it's so pretty, especially on a blue sky day like today. But uh, just not a lot of parking. So I, I don't understand why the beach is so big. It's gotta be a structural decision, I would imagine. Longboat has made some pretty good decisions in their area. They're extremely particular here. They have some of the highest and most expensive homes in the country. And uh, they have a community that they have to make happy. Uh, quite a bit but again you know I, I, I this hopefully it was an engineering decision so this is the end of uh, one of the riprap jetties and from what I understand it goes all the way back I have some photos I'm gonna put in this video that go all the way back and they're all under the sand the same exact setup they did on Lido from what I understand having the sand locked over top of this jetty will help keep everything locked into place so Hopefully that makes sense, but we're gonna go check out what the driftwood used to look like and what it looks like now. All right, so I'm over here in one of the only areas that they kept uh, original, I'll say. It looks real good from this camera, but it's a very, very small section. It used to be absolutely huge. This look is what you would get on 90% of Beer Can Island before. You'd be able to walk through the woods. The driftwood was everywhere. It had this beautiful look to it. Look at that driftwood right there. You would actually, on high tide, have to walk through the water and around driftwood before. They eliminated a lot of it. This is the only section that's left. Uh, the other beach is absolutely huge now, but this is a good example of all the shade and hiding spots and cool places and old history of trees that fell over. Lots of different, um, all kinds of different neat things. So you would always find trees with shells on like this. 
it was just a little paradise. And this look, you'd have to weave in and out of trees all the time to get down into the beautiful blue water. Great place to hang out and uh, put your hammock up, really. You'd always find someone reading a book. But this section, as you can see, uh, hopefully you can see it from up top with the drone footage I did. This is all that's left. And you used to be able to have that exact look as you're going through the wood line all through the Gulf of Mexico and watch all the boats. Some people would not even know that you're here. It was so private. That section where the grass is right there, there's a section of driftwood left that still has not been cleaned up. That went all the way out. Here's a good example of the driftwood where a lot of this would have driftwood and you'd have to go around into the water on high tide to get through. I know it sounds like that would not be convenient, but it was actually a very special and beautiful thing. We had tons of beaches. I like to report on positive things. Uh, with the other beaches, we had plenty of areas for room, parking. This one was real special and I do not fully understand why they would do it. If you ever have a chance, when one of these big boats come through, pay attention to watch the drawbridge come up. It may not be too impressive for you the first couple times, but it grows on you. Very old Florida, in my opinion. And I hope they keep these bridges like they are. I've heard they're trying to change them. And I'm here 16 years now, and when I used to hear this stuff, it never bothered me. But now that I have some history, and I understand and respect old Florida, I, I really don't like change anymore, just like a lot of locals. So... There's your drawbridge going up. The big, nice boat going through the area. I also had a chance uh, where the bridge went up when I had the bird up in the air. But your neighbor is Anna Maria Island, Bradenton Beach, Coquina, Coquina Beach, Manatee Beach, Bean Point. Very beautiful area in Manatee County, Florida. They do a great job out here. I wish we had our old beer can island. So anyway, Lenny Besterman, I hope you enjoyed Bear Can Island today. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to. The good news is the water's still blue. It's still a beautiful area. And we have some new memories to make out here at Bear Can Island, North Longbow Key in Manatee County. So if you're not liking, or if you're not subscribed to this channel already, please do. I cover the beaches quite a bit, but we're also going to be showing Sarasota and other things, restaurants, things to do. Big time Christmas display system or uh, display I'm going to be doing, which is gonna be awesome. Sarasota and Bradenton had some really nice Christmas lights up. And I know a lot of you all over the world where it's cold are very interested in what it's like in Florida at Christmas time. It's funny, it's the one thing that I actually miss about North is the fall and the Christmas lights and the cold. And I think, if I remember correctly, at least the way I was when I was up north, I always wondered what Christmas was like in Florida. So I'm looking forward to showing you that. Lenny Besterman's Sarasota Experience. See you in the next video.